Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Well, I was talking to another community member, and I want to dedicate this to her. Her name is Trish, and we were talking about the um, archetype trademark. And I know I have done it uh, a few videos and included it in there, and I felt angry and frustrated and thought, who does this woman think she is trying to trademark a, a, a word in the dictionary? And I think... Um, we might have all got caught up in some clickbait, and I know I did with the Daily Mail and um, some others, but I did an investigation. Um, I made phone calls. I did uh, research online, and I have the truth about this trademark, so I'm going to share it with you. It's important that we always give the truth and show people that we're not about uh, misinformation, but that we really want to get at the truth. There's my uh, copyright disclaimer. If you tell the truth, you don't have anything, to, uh, you don't have to remember anything. So um, these were some of the things I'd included. The Daily Mail, the Duchess of Sussex made the application in the U.S. Uh, PTO office last month, and it covers the use of archetypes, a word that derives from the Greek language from the 1540s. And again, this was the Daily Mail and said, now Megan tries to trademark the word archetypes. Duchess bids to stop anyone from using the word. You see where I'm going with this, guys? Megan could face a legal challenge from companies that use word in their names. The Duchess vows to investigate labels that try to hold women back. And we know that this is produced from Archwell Audio, which is one of their uh, charitable organizations, which I do not understand how it can fall under a charitable, charitable organization. But evidently, they've been able to do it, but, uh, and it streams on Spotify. The Los Angeles Times, Megan confronts stereotypes that hold women back in Spotify podcasts that she'll host. Uh, Meghan Markle officially earned a new title Thursday when Archwell Audio finally announced Archetypes as the first series podcast series in Meghan and Harry's partnership with them. The ardent woman's right activist will speak to, with historians and experts to uncover the origin of these stereotypes and have uncensored conversations with women who know all too well about how these typecaps shape narratives legal information. While the law does not allow for a trademark on an individual book title, an author can trademark a series of books. This is because they serve as an uh, definable brand. Common examples would include Four Dummies, the series, Chicken Soup for the Souls, The Hardy Boy Adventures, and so on. So what is the series of creative works? Examples of a series of creative works include works labeled as, and I had just given you some examples, but like Volume 1, Part 1, Book 1, Series 1, 2, 3, 4, ever how many podcasts that she does, and it's a series of podcasts. The content must change with uh, each successive issue or performance. A new and revised version of a book might be sufficient and forms a series of work if the revisions are significant. And that can also go with series of podcasts. So we all know uh, Charles, and I won't give out the, fir the full um, username, but um, this is where it was listed and the serial number where the request was made. Archetypes. And it says, downloadable audio recordings and podcasts, all in the fields of cultural treatment of women and stereotypes facing women, downloadable audiovisual recordings, downloadable recorded webcasts, downloadable video podcasts, and downloadable television programs, all in the fields of cultural treatment. So this is where it was um, applied at. Archwell Audio LLC because it's uh, registered in Delaware, but the address is in uh, California. Archwell Audio, the production company launched by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, has filed the application to trademark the word archetypes. Fox News uh, Digital has learned. So according to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office database, the application was filed two days after the Duchess of Sussex announced her forthcoming Spotify podcast. 
If the trademark filing is approved, the word would be protected in entertainment services such as podcast, on-demand streaming media, live stage performances, and webcast, among others. That's where it would be protected. So I contacted the U.S. Trademark Filing Service, and I spoke with a lovely lady named uh, Felicia. I included my reference number to prove my call. Um, a trademark is $399 if you want to go through the application process. And I'll tell you what Miss Felicia told me. These are the offices where the U.S. Patent and Trademark offices are located, and I contacted the one in red on the East Coast. And just before I do, Megan Markle seeks to trademark the word archetypes for her new podcast, Spotify podcast. The title of the show refers to the theme of the series as well as Archwell, the nonprofit organization founded by the royal couple. That name plays tribute to the firstborn Archie. Somebody's adding that in. But anyway, I'm just going back over and highlighting a few of these things. The news came following the reports that they were allegedly considering leaving the streaming platform, and this is important, after they had concerns about Spotify handling the spreading of information regarding the coronavirus. And uh, remember the Joe Rogan incident? But Archwell Audio now maintained that its conversations with Spotify have been encouraging and productive. Thus, they are confident moving forward with their multi-year exclusive Spotify deal and are expected to launch the Duchess of Sussex podcast series, series, get that, which is expected to premiere this summer. So one of the things that stuck out to me and a lot of other people is the author who wrote a book in the upper right-hand corner called Archetypes, Who Are You? And her name is Caroline Miss. She's written a lot of other uh, books, and I think she's a five-time New York best-selling author. Yeah, I think she'd won that five times. But she's written a lot, and she's got a lot of series, and she goes around and gives conferences. And um, and this is on her website. And one of the upcoming things that she just posted today, actually, um, it says, the four basic archetypes present in each of us are child, victim, saboteur, and prostitute. Now, whether or not these are going to be the four archetypes that uh, Megan talks about or if she's going to include others, that remains to be seen. This is where I sent her, and I'm not going to stay on this but a moment. I emailed uh, this author, and I let her know about the uh, trademark application. I let her know about the series that was going to be airing later uh, in a few months, that if she wanted to... um, listen to it and make sure that her information um, and what she's written is protected, that uh, that's totally up to her. This tells me that my message was sent to her. Now, I found this on Twitter and I don't want to give out names just because um, I dealt with a lot of um, Sussex people last night and today and I just don't want to cause anybody else grief. But um, she posted, the trademark is owned by Aspen Institute. Now, if you'll recall, the Aspen Institute is where Harry is on the board. And it's about uh, misinformation. And really what they're trying to do is censor people so that they can't give out information. And it is funny how, well, that's Harry's big thing and Megan's. And he wants to protect her at all costs. That she wants to apply for a patent and trademark for a series that she's doing. God forbid anybody should borrow any of her work. So I know this is hard to read, so I'm going to read it out to you, and I'm going to have to just enlarge it and go back and forth. But um, on Monday, November the 20th, 2017, a trademark application was filed for archetypes in the U.S. Um, State, United States Patent and Trademark Office. And it has been given the archetype trademark, a serial number, and there it is, And the federal status of this trademark filing is abandoned. No statement of use filed. So what happens is when I spoke to Felicia today, I wanted to know what abandoned meant. And she said that when you file for a trademark and approved, you have six months to use it. And if it's not used within that six months, then the trademark previously applied for is abandoned. So I'll tell you who this was. 
this trademark and it says it was abandoned uh, let's see no statement of use on file so as of october the 28th of 2019 which is almost uh, a year and 11 months to the date that the application was made this trademark said um it was excuse me i'm sorry it was abandoned this trademark is used by or owned by the aspen institute it's funny how all of these connections are made and it says the archetype trademark is filed in the advertising business and retail services and education and entertainment um, categories with the following description. It says promoting public interest and awareness of the importance of mentorship and empowerment of young individuals for the purpose of social change and community impact. Well, I thought it was strange that it was the Aspen Institute that applied for it ended up not using it. How did Megan even know that was something they applied for? And where did she come up with the idea of archetypes? Did she uh, read this lady's book that we showed you a moment ago? Um, did Harry come back and, and give some information about um, how they were trying to trademark it for the Aspen Institute and weren't going to use it anymore? I just find it strange. But anyway, <clears throat> So that trademark is uh, no longer valid, and so it is available for someone to go after it. And they could reapply the Aspen Institute. I, I confirmed that. And this is just where I, I uh, zoomed in on what we were talking about a little bit um, closer. So the Aspen Institute, and Harry and I just talked to you about that. So it was abandoned, and per the U.S. PTO, the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office, if not used within six months of the approved trademark, trademark is considered abandoned, but can be reapplied for. Megan has applied for uh, the title of her podcast series, and it's streaming. It means, if approved, it protects them from anyone else naming a podcast series or streaming one or doing webcast one called Archetypes. So, and I'll tell you more. She will not own the word. People who have already used it are fine. This is only for Archwell Audio to stream archetypes on the Spotify streaming service and is a simple business trademark. The Daily Mail and other stories were clickbait and misinformation. No one bothered to check it out with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Sorry, there's no story here and it is a legitimate business practice this time. It will probably get approved. Does she need it? Probably not. This story is dedicated to a friend and community member named Trish, and that's not her online username, so nobody will know who she is, and she's a very special lady. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to put something in the comment section. So if you see someone else out there, because I know people are still reporting on it, if you want to direct them back to this video and just tell them this is the truth of it, um, I'm certainly not going to make up things to spread about Megan. Uh, I, I don't mind reporting things when she's misbehaved or call out certain behavior that I find that is, is um, not positive behavior. But I will certainly tell the truth and correct the record if I find that something is going around and, um, and it's not true. So we're being honest. We're having integrity about the stories that we share. And we just all want to know the truth. I hope everybody has a great day. And I may not make an updates video today since I've uh, put out two today. But if not, I'll be back with you soon. Love you all and have a great day.